If the Liberal Party tonight votes to replace Tony Abbott with Malcolm Turnbull and he doesn't improve in the polls, are we likely to see a return of the Run Gillard Rudds saga or will a new contender emerge? Okay, uh, John Hewson, this is exactly the theme uh, that was brought up earlier by Rowan Dean. Look, if it's a close result, uh, it's hard to imagine either side giving up in the way our politics works. And I, I'm very concerned, Perth Cook, we haven't had good government. We haven't had decisive leadership. I mean, you can say, oh, we haven't sold the economic message. What's the economic message? I mean, you look at the economy making a transition from a resources boom to what? Where are the jobs going to come from? And when you look around for evidence as to what's strongest in education, in higher education, uh, in, in, in research and uh, technology, uh, try to wipe out the renewable sector, one of the true growth sectors of our economy. Yeah. I mean, you ask yourself, where, where's the economic overarching narrative that, that we need to explain better? There hasn't been an orchestrated policy strategy to, to deliver on that sort of uh, challenge. And, and what, what about this mini, um, if you like, um, intra-narrative, this kind of mafia narrative of the the backstabbing and knifing of a leader and getting together your gang to kill off that well, gang. Well, a, uh, a lot of you guys in the media come alive on those sort of days, you know. And, <laughs> uh, a little bit of blood and, and guts makes it, makes it worthwhile. And I think uh, we've had a situation where indeed some of the medias have seen themselves as, as players in the game. But, uh, uh, look, I, I think um, the electorate is just sick of this sort of very short-term, self-obsessed, opportunistic, negative politics. They well, want, I'm, going to, I'm going to interrupt you right now because we have a new Prime Minister. Uh, Malcolm... <laughs> I'll just start... Let me, let me finish that uh, point. Malcolm Turnbull has won uh, 54 to 44. Uh, in the vote, Julie Bishop is his deputy. Now, um... I'll let you continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's, how's that going to work? And look, is he going to be forgiven by Australian voters? Because if that questioner is right and the Julia Gillard, uh, Rudd Gillard, Rudd thing mm. happens, and if uh, Rowan Dean is right and the Julia Gillard was never forgiven by the Australian public, uh, will uh, Malcolm yeah, Turnbull, look, Prime Minister Turnbull, be look, forgiven? I don't think it's about being popular. I mean, uh, there's so much of our focus today is on being popular. And, uh, Sounds like you're just, just judging by the audience reaction. Yeah, but that's right. When Rudd was, wasn't in power, he was extremely popular. When he came back, he was very happy to Malcolm. And it reminds me of the story that was told at the time of the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd contest about the old girlfriend or boyfriend that we had in school. You know, we felt passionately in love, couldn't live without them, couldn't imagine life without them. But for some reason, we never got married. A few years later having a wine in a bar or something, you run into them again, they start to look really good. And then you, <laughs> then you, remember, then you remember exactly why you broke up in the God first place. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm going 